Ladies and giggle pigs, watch this shit. Las Vegas sphere, that big ball of glass in the middle that people pay millions and millions and billions and gazillion jillion dollars to go and get Pac-Man's face tattooed on it for stupidness reasons. A man has climbed it. Can we just appreciate this, lads? I mean, imagine climbing this. The man's got his spider gloves on, Spider-Man gloves on, and is climbing up. He spat on his hands. He's... <laughs> He's climbing up that shit, dog. Absolutely incredible skills. This man must be a trained Olympian. I hope he is. And if he's not, someone needs to get on this bandwagon quickly. How tall is the glass canyon spingy midiggy in fucking New Vegas Beijing? Fair play to the lad. He made it to the top. Or woman. Don't be racist. But how the fuck are you gonna get down? I think if you slide on your bum cheeks, you're gonna die, bro. You're gonna drop dead like a pack of flies, mate. Like a pack of flies getting swatted by someone in a restaurant because they're eating their chips. You are getting crushed. Do not slide on your bum. Although imagine it would be hella fun if there's water around the bottom, bro. Go for it, go for it. I suppose it was like in that episode of Finish and Fur when like Perry the Platypus is on the roof and it's like, well, if you got up there, he can get down, you know. So it's kind of like you got up there, bro. Get down. And imagine if getting rescued by a helicopter. Would you even want that? You'd probably be a bit embarrassed. But, like I love how they've drawn a circle in red Snapchat paint. Like yeah, just in case you couldn't see it, lads. There's the guy on top of the thing. Yeah, he's stuck up there like a complete dick. <laughs> But just like all great things, bro, the Simpsons predicted it. As freaking usual, boys, they, Homer Simpson climbed the glass sphere of Las Vegas. There was a tiny civilization in the middle of it, which they didn't tell you about. It's called Springfield. Goddamn, 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 goddamn. Homer Simpson climbed the glass before anyone else did. What a leg end. What a leg. This got my brain trickling. It got it juices flowing. It got everything absolutely stupendously slurring and blurring in my gurgin. What? I don't know what I said there. But the Simpsons have predicted many things. Some might say they're from the future. I just think they are Mr. Know-it-alls. They seem to get everything right. They know everything about the universe before it's even happened. I think Matt Groening literally got given a book, like in Back to the Future, you know, where they get the betting books and shit like that. He got a book and said, this is what's going to happen in like the next million years, all right? Make a million Simpsons episodes on it and make sure you hint at future things. You will look like geniuses. We got the submersible disaster in 2006. Obviously, we had that idiot you know, then people with so much money going to visit the Titanic. Like, bro, would you pay to go visit a funeral? Would you pay to go to a grave? A fuck no, dude. Why would you pay to go underwater and see a grave? It's just stupid. Like, I, I'm sorry they died, but at the end of the day, like, come on, bro. Don't do that shit. Planning to block the sun. Okay, so rich people blocking the sun with power plants. No idea what that was. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris election. And the special Donald J. Trump's West Side Story. They have a sing-off. Bro, I need to watch that episode. The Cybertruck. Holy heck. Oh, brother, where art thou? I've actually seen that episode. I 100% recognise that. That truck. So that's obviously a dig on Elon Musk's car, the Cybertruck. I know which I'd rather have, bro. Also, where's the Simpsons hit and run to, bro? What the? Malfunctioning voter machines. Uh, real tobacco plants. Tobacco. Like tobacco. Crazy. But getting, like, tomatoes. That's so clever, bro. It's so clever. Accessible space travel. Deep space Homer. So Homer goes to space, spends loads of money and gets to go to space. What the? What the? What the... Smart watches, look at that, getting phones on your wrist before it was even cool. That was 1995, bro. The iPhone wasn't even a thing. Literally, smart... Simpsons should sue all smart watches because they literally made them, bro. Serving horse, mate. This is kind of horribly funny because, actually, I remember a Sainsbury's, which is like a supermarket, a supermarché, if you're foreign, in England, and uh, they were using Hortmeese burgers and didn't tell anyone about it. It was a big story. It was kind of funny. Luckily, I didn't shop at Sainsbury's because I ain't a poor vo. I'm not a poor hobo. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I do shop at Sainsbury's. Actually, I shop at Aldi. It's even cheaper. Two cars in every garage. Three-eyed fish. Did we get a three-eyed fish? They found a three-eyed fish. What the... Centering Michelangelo's David. They put pantaloons on Michelangelo. To be fair, I went to Italia once, and there were a lot of knobs out. I was with my parents, and we're looking at the statues, and they're like, isn't this incredible? I was like, not really, mother. I'm not really into penises, to be honest with you. That's a lie. You're a dirty lie. Not really my cup of tea. My brother, on the other hand. Wait, wait, daddy. It actually turned out he was into penises. A bit awkward. <laughs>
Lady Gaga and the Super Bowl. The Simpsons Super Bowl episode includes the infinite predictable musical artist. Who cares about Lady Gaga? That was two, 2012, bro. She did the Super Bowl. Walt Disney and Matt Fox merger. Which is funny because Walt Disney now owns the Simpsons. Don't, what the hell? What the hell? They actually predicted their own buying. That's so cool. It kind of makes you think it was like meant to happen. They were just pretending, didn't they? They were just faking it. FaceTime. Oh my God, they invented FaceTime. So they literally had FaceTime and Skype before. It was the thing? What the? Matrix 4 premiere. The Ziff who came to dinner. Dude, there's Matrix 4. Four. Was that even good? Is that a real thing? <laughs> The Matrix 4, real? A pandemic? No. No way. They got the 1993 COVID all the way back there. Oh, bro. These guys, I told you, they have a book of all knowledge and wisdom and everything you need to know is in that book. I will find it. It's in behind a safe, behind everything. It's even, oh, dude, it's got guards. It's got automatic turrets, murder hornets. Wait, they got two in one episode. Tom Hanks endorses the US. Tom Hanks. Greatness in America. I love the Simpsons movie. Oh, that's so cool. He was actually in it. I need to watch that film. I don't really like Tom Hanks. I think he's involved with Jeffro Epstein, bro. I defo think that. I'm not saying that just to cause controversy. That Ricky Gervais clip in his face after, that just says to me, red flag. Red flag alert! Boo, 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 boo. Red flag! Legal referino in Canada. See? They made weed legal in Canada. Literally because of the Simpsons episode. 13 years later, recreation man in Wanawana. Lucky Canadians, bro. I wish I could get stoned all the time. Just sit here like, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Stoner Man 54. Here to smoke another joint. Here to smoke another doobie with you boys. Come on, pass the puff, Homer. Pass the puff. Don Mattingly's hair gets him in trouble. Homer at the bar. Who's Don Mattingly and who gives a fuck? Trump presidency. I didn't know this. They actually predicted Don. Do you think Donald Trump is such a big fan of The Simpsons and he just went, holy shit, The Simpsons have just predicted my future and what I should do. How dare they advertise Suicide Squad as well? Get that shit out of here, dog. I'm not wasting money. I'm going to get that game when it's 50p or free. But yeah, I think Donald Trump definitely is a fan of The Simpsons and he went, actually, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do what The Simpsons told me to do in 90 in 2000 that's a clever idea but yeah to be fair donald j trump i mean look in american politics is nothing to do with me I, i'm an english boy but you know we love to have an opinions on things that don't concern us in any deepest darkest sleep this way deepest darkest kind of sleep is like what am i on about but like sh joe biden cannot be president bro sleepy joe literally needs he's, he's like a toe stub away from dying he is literally like chipping a fingernail into a coma he literally someone brushes his hair for too long rip off his scalp and he will bleed to death. He will die. That man cannot be president. On a day Trump, it's hard to say, but fuck. What are you guys doing over there? He has got to be the man. So it's funny to see that this all started from a man stood on the glass sphere in Las Vegas. What a legend. I mean, it's fucking gigantic. Has he climbed that? He, I tell you now, he's stolen Spider-Man's hands and he's holding them and climbing up there. Rock climber scales it. Oh, he's a rock climber. He's cheating. He's done it his whole life. That's cool as fuck. Well played, bro. But look at that. Look how big it is, dude. How are you doing that? That's like goes round. Like, he's licked his answer do do three third i would definitely go see that to be fair that's cool as fuck i wonder what he got down the official pro spider-man he stole my fucking name phoenix fire captain called the stunt very very dumb <laughs> i would have called it really really cool that's how you get in the good books how did he get down you're not allowed to put yourself in danger you put firefighters in danger so we had to get fireman sam to bring him down what a pussy i would have just slid on my ass look that's great the simpsons is awesome people climb scale spheres that's so cool i get it but what a legend bro poor firefighters having to go you know climb up a cool tower but what a legend what a leg end you were always on my mind